Why are you all dressed up nice, Ken? I just um, I just did a Today Show. I just came from the Today Show. Oh, really? oh, Look how wow. nice he is in person. Yeah. In role models, you were such a dick. <laughs> but in person, he's like just a nice king. guy. Ken's just coming in king. fucking all Asian-y like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> hello, I, hello, I, do, how I, do, I do that. That's the thing. What the matter with you, man? I really, I was, like, born in the United States, I still, like, fucking bow. It's you can like, see uh, the push, <laughs> though. <laughs> it's so bad. You can see the push. Yeah. The pu you can see the Kim Jong push. Yeah. Hey, and somebody told him to get rid of doctor. I know you fucking did the doctor. Oh, you got me, doctor. Can I don't care. About nah, but you don't do that anymore. Like on stage. Oh, and oh shit. no, I don't do that anymore on stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, used to play guitar. But everyone, yeah, everyone says you should. I call. It. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't care. Do yeah. Yeah. Don't call. Wait, Ken, you're in that show with? Uh, is that with uh, uh, Michael Anthony Michael Hall and? Uh, oh God, Joe McHale. Oh, Joe McHale. Yeah, yeah. yeah community. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Community really is a. I've, I haven't seen enough, but everyone is talking about community, and what I've seen, I, I do love it. And I, I said yesterday, i got to make some time to DVR the show and watch it. Right, right. It's Thanks, really bro. fucking good. And Chevy Chase, someone that most of us want to hate, is good, <laughs> in this, is good in this show. No, he brings it, man. It's just really cool. He definitely, he definitely like... Uh you know, working with him has been great. He brings prick his to work, prick to work with, all right. He's been fine with me. <laughs> I'll be honest. You know, okay, yeah. you know, you hear about it, but it's just like, yeah. I, you know, it's just I don't know if he's at a, you know, he's just at a point in his life. I remember saying something when I met him. I was like, you know, I'm just a huge fan. And he was like, you know what? I'm just old enough to appreciate that. You know, that was really cool. Like, yeah, was like, he he kind of got a reputation over the oh, years yeah, of being oh, a little yeah. difficult. Yeah, we've all heard it. But yeah, I, yeah. We, I found oh, I find him great. His wife is like, I think I think he keeps saying like we, we've been over to his house and. He had a cast over to his house before the show began, and like he was really nice to my wife and my kids. I had two baby girls, and like Janie would go out of her way to make sure my girls had stuff to play with. And White do, girl, Ken? Uh, yeah, they're two. Yeah, we adopted in reverse. No, no, no. Two, uh, you have an Asian wife. Oh uh, no, no, I have an Asian wife. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Man. He's, not, wait, he's not truly Hollywood. He didn't leave his own yeah. kind. No, I, didn't, I haven't gone Hollywood yet. No, wait, no. I did you really adopt? No, no, I didn't. I'm oh, not. I was, I was just, that would be it's hilarious. too competitive to keep up. I was trying to keep up. That's all. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's the show about? Because I heard it's good and I've never seen it. Yeah, community it's college. A, it's about community college. Joel McHale plays. Um, he's a he's a lawyer who uh, basically is uh, found out that the the law the met law board found out that he did not uh, graduate from college in the United States. So so he gets disbarred and now is forced to complete his college degree. He goes to a community college and that's where it starts. So the pilot started from him at the college, like pissed off. Not in a good, you know, just kind of in a bad place. So then he meets all these Motley Crue characters, and then I played a Spanish teacher upon which the pilot was based on. Who does, uh, who's Anthony Michael Hall play? Anthony Michael Hall is going to appear, uh, I think, in the Christmas episode where he plays a, he, he's actually. Oh, he's not in the cast. Uh, no, yeah, 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 he, yeah, yeah he, he has a guest star in it, but he's great. He's, okay. he's wicked fun. I mean, he's really funny, and he brings it. It's really funny. Hey, was that your penis in Hangover? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry. It was a last minute. What are you minute. doing? I know. It was literally a last second decision. Yeah. And I just, it was um, it was my idea. I pitched it to Todd Phillips, the director, and I said, uh, <laughs> would it be okay if I do? I just felt like it was, I was supposed to come out of the trunk with my pants on or my slacks on. I said, I think it'd be funny if, I, it, you know, if I could try it naked. And not thinking he would, but it, I was there, serious about the idea, but I didn't think he would bite, you know, he would go for it. He was like, he literally said, you don't have to ask me twice. And he was just like, do it. <laughs> and then we did it. And then he was just like, and he made me sign in like a nudity waiver within like half an hour. Like, well, just, you have to sign a nudity yeah, waiver. I had to sign my, I had to sign my nudity, uh, like a nudity clause saying like, I, I agree to be. I, <laughs> fucking lawyers. <laughs> There's now nudity waivers? Yeah. I mean, it's more important for... Oh, don't give this place a, <laughs> an idea. Right. Somebody Imagine. must have sued, though. Somebody probably sued. Right. Yeah, what is that based on? For, for actresses, really primarily for women in film. You know, you don't want to like you don't want to be showing their, their breasts or their cooch, like, you mm -hmm. know, on, on any, like, you know, DVD or, you know, there's there's laws about that or re, how to rebroadcast nudity or right. something. So for guys, that, you know, especially for comedy Nerd right. guys, and, and no guys cares. just yeah. show their dick. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? I didn't <laughs> see that scene. I didn't see the movie. It's a good movie, man. It's <laughs> yeah, a really it's good comedy. <laughs> no, it's so I, stupid. He goes, I didn't see the scene. <laughs> I didn't yeah, see yeah. the movie. Yeah. 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 He wisely left during the scene. I don't blame you. Scene. I didn't see that scene. Uh, the entire film. No, I didn't see the film. For, for the people that haven't seen the film, Ken Jeong is packing maybe an inch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not yeah. a boy. Is yeah. it a, gr is it a he, grower? It's that, a grower, not a shower, that kind of thing. At least gets up to some kind of respectability. Yeah. I got The way I looked at it, then he had the big hair. 
Jerry fucking Bush on I top had the Merkin, and yeah. Everyone Jesus. thought it was fake, and it was just like, yeah. Did I got you grow so, that just for the scene? No, or? I just didn't shave. I've never shaved. I've never oh done anything. You're a mess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a mess. Yeah, it was just kind of, <laughs> I'm a mess. I mean, like, I figured, I, you know, I have two kids. I have nothing I have nothing else to prove, so I figured you just. You understand you shave yes, you it do. down, it's going to look a little bigger? Yeah, dude, I had emails after the movie came out. Like, many guys have emailed me yeah. and said, like, if you shave it, you shave more visible. Shave around the base a little bit. Shave around the sides down You can see the push for Kim, man. You, 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 you should not be thinking that. <laughs> you, will, you will fucking happen. I know you roll with the, um, the like that crew. Like they, you're in all the the fucking funny white boy movies now. Yep. <laughs> and so you you thought of, and you know it's gonna be you're gonna have a test. <laughs> I don't think One of them young white bitches gonna want to put that fucking that little <laughs> that little nugget that, that little, little that little nub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be tempted with the, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it just, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's a yeah. plug into a bank account as far as the draw is concerned. <laughs> is your is your, is your wife to... Asian Asian or is she American? She's Asian? Vietnamese. Like, I'm but pretty, she is she grew she... up in the United States. Yeah, she's very. We're she's, both Americanized. She's Americanized. Yeah, we're okay. both white right. 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 well, essentially. Where do you get your Vietnamese food in New York City? I need a place. Uh, in L. A. Well, we. We live in L.A. We go to I Little Saigon, know, it, Little Saigon, Orange County, about an hour okay. away. That's where all the best Vietnamese food. I need a food. place in the city. There's a there's yeah. a place called Mama Sons up in Rochester. The best Vietnamese food really? ever. Really? I want to bring her down here. Yeah. I want to franchise her. Oh, that'd be good for cheap. What's I'm Vietnamese food? I've never eaten hard and, and they pay her nothing. It's like Chinese food. It's, no, no, yeah, but what is it? <laughs> Vietnamese food is the best Asian food. Yeah, it's 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 like pho. It That's really like their is. signature dish, like a noodle soup. It's like pho. <laughs> Huh? I love your face. What's it called? Pho. Like, uh, I, I think P H O is. P H O. Oh, they don't pho. pronounce it pho? No, it's like uh, like Vietnamese. They say pho. Pho, pho noodles. Pho. Way yeah. tastier than Chinese. Way is it really? Really? It's yeah. a sweeter than Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's I, I love cleaner, Vietnamese though. food. It's, clean, it's yeah. cleaner. It's cleaner. It's yeah. fresher. Cleaner. Yeah, it's less heavy. It's yeah. less heavy. You're not yeah. shitting 20 minutes later? Yeah. yeah and they have raw, and raw, like, uh, and instead of cooking, like, a Dude, nice pho. No, no, let me uh, tell you. They're, uh, they're, bean sprouts. Uh, they're, uncooked bean No, their steamed spring rolls are to die for. Yes. Holy I love Vietnamese That's food my good. favorite Vietnamese dish. Is this just a simple yeah. spring rolls, man? Right. And they put a little cilantro on that. Right. It's like a little yeah. It's just cool. What do you think of role models, man? <laughs> when that movie first came out, people uh, not much of a buzz to be honest with right, you. But it's right. in the DVR uh, DVD world, yeah. it's really it's really blowing up. Yeah, it really. I think it's on cable right now. Yeah, it's like, on cable. Yeah, that was ninety million dollars worldwide. Fucking ninety million dollars. It's, it's a funny movie. And usually, but that, that was a that slow. Dude. That was a slow build for that movie. I'm telling you. Right. We had Sean William Scott in. He does the show from time yeah. to time. Oh, cool. And, yeah. And he was in he's here. Great. Yeah. He was in here promoting uh, Mr. Woodcock, and he and he openly goes, "Dude, this movie sucks." No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he rules for saying this, and he goes, "If you want to totally see me rules. in a good movie, it was Role Models. That uh, a lot of uh, it was either the next movie that came out or whatever. I don't remember now, but basically, he was pushing Role Models. He wouldn't know he was supposed to push Woodcock. That are you day. kidding me? That's yeah. great. Much. Yeah. Oh, he's a great fucking guy. I love Son. I mean, he's nuts. Yeah, he's. I remember seeing him on the red carpet. He's like, "Dude, this, this is the funniest movie since American Pie." You know, I've been. I mean, he was just so hyped for the movie, and yeah, it's like one of my favorite movies. I've been a part of. That's you like, play the, uh, the the king. The king, of, yeah. The, it's, it's a just fun. The, no, just that was that was my favorite acting. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so serious as yeah. being the king. It's ridiculously funny. Yeah, that was the first. That was the first role I did a lot of kind of actually worked on, like worked on it, like as an actor. I don't mean to sound all actory and pretentious. It was like, but I, but I just I was doing like like I didn't know any of that world like Dungeons and Dragons. So I actually like went to those events and oh, really? like live events in Malibu, and I was like you know larping, I, larping, yeah, live action role play. I saw documentaries and read books. On it's an it intense just, look. That it's an intense, yeah. So I was wow, like, no one's thinking, gonna fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, staying staying on the Asian thing, you, Margaret Cho, uh, when she did her show, and I, I knew this for for a fact, all American I, girl, because I, I listen to uh, white people talk. All the time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we weren't paying attention. To monitor, show, Margaret Cho, um, her show have that it, it fucked up work for Asians for a long time. Really? Yeah, but where they wouldn't give them parts and, oh. and no shows, nothing. And uh, right now, a lot of motherfuckers, the kid that plays Sulu in Star Trek. Yeah, John Cho. He's working. Mine, yeah. Ken's working. Fucking Bobby Lee's working. Yeah. Why did uh, she mess hold up? Hold on a minute about Bobby <laughs> Lee. Bobby Lee doesn't like Ken Jong. Of course he won't. He mentioned on our show. It's like, it's like two, it's like two, get two get Africans that's working. It's like that we're, <laughs> we're both from Nigeria and we both go to work. You know, you know Damon, you know Damon Johnson doesn't like the motherfucker that played Adam Bisi from Oz. You know what I'm saying? So 
Bobby it, it Lee, doesn't matter. Bobby Lee is nuts. I, I, I don't know if we can get the clip. Uh, oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. I think he's a little jealous that you're getting a lot of big, big he, Hollywood movies right well, now. Well, I, 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 I have him to thank for because one of the first guest stars I had was on it, Mad TV. He put me on, so and we did the Kim's of Comedy. Yeah. So do y'all get yeah. along? Oh, okay. I, I love him. He's he's, just, he's, he's a character. He's surprised he didn't he's know just, that. No, I mean, you know, I, but I, I, I don't. It doesn't surprise me because he's crazy. You know what yeah, I mean? It's like it's like what day? You know, like sometimes it's hot cold with that guy. You know, it just is. He's a weird yeah. dude. But every time I see Bobby Lee in the comedy store in L.A., he he walks like he's just about to go do something important. Yeah, like he's like hey, hey, hey and he walks by you, and then he just goes and stands ten feet away and waits to go on. <laughs> he's like, where are you rushing to? But that's so hot. But that's Hollywood. But that's yeah. Hollywood. But yeah. you can hear Ken. Ken is. Tr it, you can hear it. He is trying to stay humble, a away from Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. But you are going to. You're, yeah, but I'm you're gonna, getting going to crack. You no, you're gonna... not going to crack. <laughs> but you're going to meet that thing. That goes, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ken, you're in. Are you ready? I don't think it'll ever happen. But the good thing with him, he doesn't get recognized on the streets whatsoever. Yes, yeah. he does. Oh, he's Asian. He no, I'm Asian. I, I fit oh, in real well. God. I never get recognized. Who's <laughs> in the Kim's and Comedy? That was who? But that was Bobby Lee, <laughs> Bobby, Steve Byrne, and Kevin Shane. I saw Hunter Ken uh, genres. Steve Byrne. Yes. Who? Steve I know Byrne. Steve. Yeah, Steve's Steve's also a psychopath. What's the other guy? Steve is not too. We're all crazy, yeah. What's the other guy? Kevin Shane. Kevin Shane, I know Kevin, too. Yeah, they're all fucking funny guys. Yoshi couldn't get on that. He was too dirty. Hey, <laughs> you know Yoshi? I know Yoshi. He could get it. Yeah. He is dirty. We, we got to go back to the hangover because this is unbelievable if this is true. Fred in Florida. Fred. You yeah, got hey, I uh, flew in from San Diego to Atlanta a couple weeks ago and was going through the movies and saw the hangover and my wife and I went to see it in the, mo in the theater and it was just, we just about wet ourselves. But long story short, I was like, God, I wonder if they're going to put it. It was on the little headrest screen, not like down the aisle. And uh, they did not, well, first of all, when it came to the pictures during the credits, they took out the elevator blowjob picture. Yeah. But more importantly, when Kim Jong-il or whoever jumped out of the phone. <laughs> Kim Jong-il! <laughs> 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 The guy doesn't even know that. He's just, dude, you, hold on. We don't give a shit what you have to say right at this second. You call him Kim, Kim Jong Il. Il. Kim hold Jong on a second, Fred. Hold on, hold on. No, we'll get to you in a second. We want to enjoy that. Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Il, get out of that car. He was just, he's fucking money. He's butter. Hold on, we're talking. Hold on. North Korean dick came out of his fucking butter. He was fucking awesome. A fucking dude came out there and fucking laughing my fucking guns off. Cocksuckers off. Oh my God. Fred, back right. to you. Now what? That was awesome. Now what? Now they had, they had, um, tidy whitey jockey shorts CG'd on them. When he jumped out of the trunk, they they I, they took away your cock. It's a plane, sir. Yeah, <laughs> they don't show yeah, nudity on didn't planes. They didn't show that one inch cock. That's you what I gotta know. They didn't, show, they didn't show the fake North Korean dictators one inch cock, and I'm a, I want my money back on the flight. Is, is, is that the scene where the guy goes? That guy was crazy, or that guy was. Wild or something? Out, All right, thank you, friend. Yeah, we we shot we shot a scene in my in my briefs yes. for for the airplane oh, so for TV. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. It wasn't CGI. It was just yeah. yeah they're surprised that they edited it on a plane. You should see Caligula on a plane. It's yes. eight minutes. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is that the just scene the porno? where you're, yeah. you're running? You yeah. run away? Yeah, okay. I run away. Yeah. yeah, it was, and I did one one take in in my underwear. All right, let's say hi to John and Red Bank. John. Hey, uh, Ken, I was surprised that you and Divin did that wrestling show. Oh, yeah. It looked, like it, it looked like you guys went all in on that, especially Divin. He seems kind of intense, and you seem to have your head a little bit. Are you all right, man? Oh, yeah. It, I was fine. What I mean, happened, Ken? I, I sold John Cena threw me over the top rope, and uh, and I, I landed on this plastic... This plastic thing on top of the on top of the padding and top of the cement, and it just had like a big crack, like a thud, and it really looked painful, and it wasn't. I kind of I was selling it because I remember Carlito, one of the wrestlers, like because they're all catching me. All four wrestlers are catching me. And Carlito's like, "Dude, are you okay?" I was like, "Shut the fuck up! I'm, I'm I'm selling." I was trying to speak wrestling talk. I'm selling. I'm selling the injury, dude. Why don't ruin my flow? I really was doing. It. And Pivin comes, "Are you okay?" Dude? I'm, I'm selling. I'm selling. Just fucking, just don't worry. Just trust yeah. me. So I really was just like trying to sell it. You know, I bought it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Like the there. boys in the back, they're all applauding. And, like nice. Vince and Triple H were hugging me. So they're they're great. I love those guys. Did John pick you up over his head? Yeah. You know what would have been great as he was about to throw you if you had your mouth by his ear if he just went, 
I want to suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally do that. You know what? He's such a good sport. I would totally do that. Dude. I would totally do that. He's such a good. He's like a cool guy. I would yeah. totally. Yeah. Have you had him on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. John rolls. Uh, he a rules, lot of those guys man. roll. Those guys. We yeah, like just like, about wrestlers all. Wrestlers are always cool. I mean, we never had yeah. any of them were dicks. No, yeah. Stephen Milwaukee, Ken Jong in studio from Community. Hey, Ken Jong. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Ken, what's going on? Hey, I was just curious about your dancing and the uh, what's it gonna be video. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for seeing a video. It's just my hack, Michael Jackson. Jackson moves. I only have like, I'm like Nirvana. It's like I have three moves, but I do them really well. So if you see every in this video, I'd like kind of dance a little Michael <laughs> Jacksony. But if you look in all my appearances, it's like about the same thing. So nah, you're the star of that video. Uh, and thanks, Doctor, man. by the way, fucking and when he when he was Doctor Ken, he he fucking killed. <laughs> And, fucking ki and did black audiences <laughs> and no one would want to follow him after he fucking yeah, yeah. Nobody no. wanted to follow. Who was Doctor Ken? I I just never real I was really always nervous when I did stand up even though I was You don't do stand up anymore? Bare like Harlem. Uh, I do a little bit. To see you yeah. make the money now, man. You kidding me? <laughs> well, I'd fucking, you know, work door deals and stuff. You make a shitload of money. Yeah, how about yeah, you do stand up for us right now, huh? <laughs> So what was bad. Dr. Ken? Like, what would you do? I, I don't. It was just like kind of a. It was really like a, like a BET comic as as a doctor Asian guy. It was just really like it was really like a lot of Asian jokes and um, it's kind of similar to that Randy character that Aziz Ansari did in Funny People. Like he had kind of this Randy. It was just kind of like a. It was a parody on that a little bit. That. Yeah, it was um, just kind of. It's like fun at faux hip hop. I don't know. It's not even hip hop, but it's just you trying explain to explain it, motherfucker. It's your character. <laughs> <laughs> look at me like Patrice. You I know, know. I'm just saying. I knew. I look I, at the black I met him as Dr. King. Yeah, I know. And, you and he, would, he would fucking kill as Dr. King. Like, yeah. he would destroy as Dr. King. He would have a guitar yeah. and fucking kill. And I'm, he'd be in front of black crowds, like, just. I'm going to YouTube destroy. that shit later. I'll check it out. Garth yeah, in Indiana. Garth. Hey, guys. Hey, Garth. Hi. Hey, Garth. Hey, Ken, I really liked your role in uh, Knocked Up, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You was a Knocked Up, too? Dude, Knocked, knocked up. up, Pineapple Express, Step Brothers. This is Judd Apatow fucking mafia. What, how did, <laughs> when, did, when did this happen, motherfucker? When did you do that? I, I just auditioned for Knocked Up like three years ago, and... And that and was it. That was really it. That he Judd gave me a career. I saw the epi I saw. A, a you hang out with that with Seth and them. I don't. I haven't seen them in a while. But yeah, I was hanging out. I mean, I see them from time to time. And, and we that always fucking meathead that hates me from uh, who hates you? Fucking oh. he hated me since the show. Who? What is a uh, pork chop head that film that? Uh, <laughs> Help us out. What's the the movie? Which movie? The monster movie. Mm, the monster movie. Are you Mask. <laughs> that monster Torch movie. Where he holds the. We holds it. He hated me from doing this show. He holds the camera the whole time. Cloverfield. Oh, Cloverfield. Oh, T.J. Oh, Miller. Oh, you don't like him. He's a good guy. Oh, he fucking. You really don't like him. Acts like we used to go together. He doesn't speak to me that hard. Uh, really? Yeah, I seen him at uh, last Friday. He's all right. T.J.'s all right. I gotta talk to T.J. Nah. Fucking yeah. turn his head. How come he doesn't like you? I don't know. I think I, I think I was said I fucking didn't like Cloverfield and I enjoyed his giant head falling down at the end of the. <laughs> <laughs> but it took it personal. Like it's like I, I watched it as a fucking as a guy who watched the movie. Patrice beat the shit out of uh, Cloverfield. Oh, you, uh, he hated the shit yeah, out of yeah, Cloverfield. Yeah. I actually liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It was. Stunk. I saw it with you. <laughs> I got fucking seasick myself. Oh, for just, real. I, it, I yeah, it, just, it didn't move around a lot. Yeah, Even though a Abr Abrams came back real hard with Star Trek. Dude. Oh man, that was great. I yeah. enjoyed it. Came back I fucking love Star Trek. Oh, that was. My favorite movie. Okay, movie. Also in Step Brothers, uh, that's a movie. Are you in Step Brothers? I was in it for just a, little, a second, just oh, like a like half a bit. second. Yeah, it was and you were fucking in that one, but... furry vengeance. Yeah, what? that's right. You guys are in it. Don't that's right. fucking point at me. I'm I'm <laughs> suing to get out of it. Suing <laughs> <laughs> to get out. I heard you were very funny in that. Together, they said you were very funny. Yeah, he left by the time we got there. Right, right, right. So when is that coming out? Furry vengeance. I think it's coming out in April. Yeah. Wasn't Brooke Shields nice? Oh, she was surprisingly she's nice. She's so it's nice and Patrice. cool. Well, her husband is Chris Henchy, who uh, runs uh, Will Ferrell's production company, Gary Sanchez Productions. If, if she wasn't married, would you stick it in her fanny? Oh, I told her many Who's times. Who's that, I told her many Who times. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Even if she, she is married. Said, she I, is I, a I'm, fucking I'm, funny goddamn broad, She man. is great. Good sport. Funny, funny. I heard she was a good sport. Yeah. Jimmy came back with the story saying yeah, she, was she was really, really cool. nice. Really funny cool. We email each other all the time, just like, just talking shit. We didn't get that far with her. We exchanged no personal information. <laughs> you got a number? Um, no, I do not. Well, maybe I do. I, I think I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call her until I use Latisse. Okay, Latisse. Her, her fucking, uh, her eyelash uh, shit for growing eyelashes. <laughs> Brooke Shields. Is that a product she endorses? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, email, yeah, I'll email her. Eyelashes. I like Ken. Will you, Ken, thank you?
you. I, I, don't I like email that. I like Ken's yeah. answer though, because he knew. No one says do you have Brooke Shields' number and you have to think about it. You know immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, do I want to tell do these I guys because they're going to expect me to call? Want to say it. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or do I really have to process it right now? Because you know I know it. <laughs> that's a, that is the. Those are the seeds of Hollywood where you just where you yeah. You have to think about everything you do. Yeah. Or True. it can just come crashing. This is off. how this, but this is how the mind and not, works. Not yeah. even a friendly. Right. Ask me if I have. I'm you. Say, do you have Brookshire's number? Do you have Brookshire's? Yes. Number? <laughs> <laughs> but it's more sincere and honest. Now, right? I am fucking finished. I'm watching Ken, and I realize how finished I am. He's yeah. just he's blowing he's up. He's very he's nobody's very up. pleasant. He's pleasantly. You know, he's not a fucking dick, but he's very pleasant. You can see it's not going to stop. He's I'm going to do something that's going to make the momentum. Stop. Nah, he's one hit. <laughs> he's, yeah, you're gonna try, he's yeah. one hit. One more hit away from being a complete dick. I'm one more hit away. You can right. tell. You right. can tell. He's, sure. he's about to change. <laughs> Let me I'll ask change. you this, though. Let me ask you this, and we have to think I'll about start these a public things. Feud Hollywood specifically style. with you. We have to think about the reality of <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. Um, and you could be the first, but Hollywood doesn't let Asians. Become superstars. Jackie Chan. Except for Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan. Mega star. Yeah, Mega he's star. Karate, though. That doesn't count. Uh -huh. <laughs> karate. Well, how's I'm talking Lee? about. How's your karate kick? You got one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's your sidekick, big guy? Lisa, <laughs> Lisa Lou. Who is it? Lisa Lou? Lucy Lou. Yeah. Lucy Lou is, yeah. the, is the biggest? Maybe Sandra O. Oh, maybe. Fat. <laughs> he's a, he fucking is. He in went back China. to China probably because yeah. the integrity of these movies was shitty. I mean, he's used to doing yeah, he movie films. Why would he stay here? strange, man. Hollywood's very fucking strategic with certain yeah, things. Yeah, I'm man. just honestly, dude. I'm just happy getting work. I'm just happy working. I just all I'm just, just happy working, working and can, and providing my front family. That's fuck where I'll, I'll, <laughs> I just like that's all what I about, ever what about care about. George T.K. <laughs> <laughs> that's good impression. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, they live husband. the same lifestyle, so. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. See, that's, that's the answer I have to practice. Do that one more time. Like, hey, man. So, fuck. What, what are you? Uh, I'm happy, you happy, but it's not practice. Well, I practice on my wife. I said, man, I'm just happy. I'm I'm getting paid. Do we have Do you have enough for the mortgage for this month? I mean, you know. I mean, Why that's, can I fucking? <laughs> that's all I just, care about. <laughs> do yeah, that. Just do that. Be that. You can't help do it. Do that. Why the fuck? All right, ask me. Just okay. Ask me how I'm doing. How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? Fine, man. I'm happy to just. Cool. It's, uh, that cocksucking <laughs> can't mother. Hear it say it. <laughs> you can't help it. You can't fucking say it. <laughs> I'm just miserable. But I, but it got to be a place for somebody to be miserable. There is alone in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> You found it. I gotta give you props, man. You're great. Uh, the Office is like like one of my favorite shows ever, and you're like on that for but the first season. Been, he should have been continually on that. You yeah, should have been yeah. one of the guys. But in the it's, it's, yeah. it, that's my my. That's his. I had to look at BJ Novak's face for more than half an hour a day, and it just bugged me. <laughs> that giant head walking around. So smug. it was BJ Novak's face that repelled you from. Yeah, just from <laughs> just I wasn't. I'm, I, I realized something. I'm, I. I need to, and, and this is probably childish, and it's probably not professional, but I really sure does. I enjoy coming here, mm -hmm. yeah, because I like it. Would have I like disrupted the, that. I like no, 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 no. I like the people that are here. I like Jimmy. I like Anthony. I like oh, I like yeah. everybody. Yeah. I like coming here because it feels like fucking friends. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really enjoy being funny around people that I'm, I'm not friends with. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not that funny. That's why I love tough crowd so much. But just to be professional, right. like when you hear things and you go, people don't, don't like each other and they, but they do it, but they fucking hate each other. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't do it. And that's, and that's yeah. childish. But I, I really, but if you look at Judd Apatow, it looks like he surrounded himself. And same thing with Sandler. He just surrounded himself with a bunch of people he enjoys. He's yeah. yeah. fucking friends. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at Rob Schneider, dude. Rob Schneider is, 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 is close to as mediocre <laughs> as you could get. It, it, he, he personifies <laughs> mediocre. Oh, yeah. But it's like he has a friend to cuff him. And and make it happy. I would have loved just being on Tough Crowd forever yeah. and not be the star. Just be yeah. you know under fucking Collins wing because I enjoyed the crew. So when I did the Office, man, Steve Carell's a nice fucking guy. Yeah, he I mean, is. Everybody's nice. I just it just sixteen hours a day of not your friends or not your thing. It just I just I just couldn't Ken has to leave in like a, two minutes, right? Or a minute? Oh, oh I don't do I? No, 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 they have other press for okay. it. Doesn't? But I do remember hey Patrice, I do remember you did have one line I still remember from the show and he said, Damn it, Michael! You said that? You got a big fucking laugh. You, you should have seen 
the outtakes the of the stuff it. that they, yeah. that I didn't yeah. do, and that's yeah. what they kept. Yeah, eighteen hours. Yeah, to have that. My, my diabetes, my feet swell up. <laughs> Someone did. Right, listen, you how much? Here's the important question. Yeah. Uh, Ken's promoting community. It's Thursdays at 8 o'clock on NBC with, uh, with Joe McHale and um, Anthony Michael Hall, I thought was regular, but he's not. And the important thing is how much influence do you have over who Judd puts in his next <laughs> film? First of all, oh. you stuttering cocksucker. Um, oh, really? None. You, you never know. He might. They, you never. They have meetings. You never. He might go. You know who's perfect for this? <laughs> if they need a stand-in for a cartoon turtle, I'm sure <laughs> there's a place for you. <laughs> Listen, we got to get him out of here. He's he's got a real busy day. Ken Jong is on. God, you really I, fucking I, funny. Whatever, I'd, I'd love he's to hang out. He's all over the place. I, I'll be honest, man. I'm Next a time big in fan New York, show. do a big long fucking day with us. I would love to. Us. Seriously, you I'm just some shit. I'm, like, I'm so I'm so happy. I'm doing this. Thanks for having me. Where you going, Ken? Where you going? I don't, I don't have Who's to go. Is somebody a PR person out there? Yeah, they have. He's, he, I I think, for real. I mean, for real? it's okay. his job to say he saying. doesn't have to go, but for real, he does have to job. go. Again, this is another L.A. thing. Yeah. I say, you know. Ask I, him about who he's dating. Are you dating the uh, <laughs> co-star from... <laughs> Ken Jong, like Jimmy said, Community is a great show. It's on tonight Thanks, at 8 p.m. on NBC. Thanks, Start man. DVRing it. and uh, I pre No, no, I appreciate it. Just, I appreciate it. you guys having me on, dude. Good seeing you, buddy. Ken Jong, everyone. Take care, guys.